my earlier session today, I have had tons and tons of uh, questions about different therapies, not just vibration therapies. Um, my experience comes from uh, a decade and a half of incorporating many of these uh, therapies and uh, how to combine them uh, for maximum results. So I've been playing with uh, light therapies since before Amazon existed, um, dating myself a little bit there. And, you know, back in the day when I got into light therapies, how did I get into it? I used to have all these clinics that were wanting to put vibration machines in their clinics as a post-treatment for the light therapy, uh, a lot of them are using them for weight loss and skin toning applications. But there is an exercise, a, a post-exercise component if you're using light therapies for weight loss. So a lot of people didn't want to put treadmills or workout stations and a lot of these spas, you know, weren't personal trainers that wanted to get into fitness, but they did want to offer uh, an, a post-exercise component. So the vibration machines became very popular, especially in the UK uh, and Australia, where they're a little bit more mature markets. Um, and, and I just found myself, well, if, 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 if I'm going to incorporate vibration machines, I needed to understand what all these lights were. So I actually was a supplier in Canada for a number of years on a couple of medical grade uh, light therapy, both red and blue light therapies. Um, terribly expensive. Uh, there's many, many more options available today. So I will get started with um, session two, light therapies. I say light therapies because there's different types of light therapies and there's different types of light uh, that is use, used for healing benefits. Um, light therapies, there are visible and non-visible light spectrums. And for many of the same reasons um, that we know we get beneficial benefits from the sun, um, you know, vitamin D, there's all kinds of different benefits that, that we gain from exposure to the sunlight, but there's that very small uh, high energy spectrum of ultraviolet. So any of you that have ever used a tanning bed or, or, or watched anything on television in the summer, there's a lot of discussion about UV and how it can be harmful for our skin. So any of the light therapies I'm talking about today and most of what manufacturers offer do not offer the UV spectrum. Uh, so you are safe from the potential harmful effects of UV. But there are different light therapies within the spectrum of the sun that we're going to focus in on today three in particular. And uh, again, light therapies, like the last session, I want you throughout this session to think about what would I be using to treat this for? What type of a person am I at? Am I? What is my discipline like? So choosing a tool that's appropriate for uh, what you're trying to treat is just as important as looking at yourself realistically and saying, am I actually going to use this thing? You know, so make sure that you select something that not only complements your needs, um, but because there's a lot of choice, especially in the light therapies category, um, you know, think about how you would use it and how you would see it in being incorporated into your day. Um, there is no best light therapy product for every person, every condition out there. Some of them are more hands-free, hands-on. Um, some of them are going to be, um, you know, less invasive. And what I mean by that, some have different temperature settings, different types of uh, diodes. So we're going to get into a few examples of each. Not unlike massage, I couldn't pull out every light therapy tool that I have because I'd need 10 more studios. But I wanted to give you a good example of a few um, products and uh, the, the intended uses for them. So um, chronic or general health. This is one thing I want you to think about. Are you treating a chronic condition? Are you looking at using this just for general uh, health? There's a lot, almost too many darn benefits associated with light therapies. Um, one common benefit that all of the devices we're talking about today offer are things like circulation, lymph, relaxation, mental clarity. Um, red light um, can expedite healing. Um, uh, we're going to talk about red light first. So there, there's red light we're talking about today. There's blue light. And we're going to get into infrared as well. Some tools combine 
different types of lights for different functions. Uh, but some light uh, spectrums are, do better jobs at certain benefits. So we're going to get into that a little bit right now. Um, as I said, many of the tools have different settings and features so you can customize for, for your own comfort and tolerances. Uh, and as I said, the same reason we get health benefits from sunlight are many of the same reasons we tap into some of the healthy wavelengths uh, that, that uh, light therapy offers. And again, I want to stress there is no UV or harmful light uh, in these ranges, so there's no ra risk of damage even to frail or delicate skin. Uh, a precaution, contraindicator, whatever you want to call it, if you are currently taking medications or are uh, taking treatments that make you more photosensitive, it makes your skin more prone to these type of treatments, um, please, please discuss the suitability first with your doctor. It's very common if you have photosensitivity or skin issues that they're probably using light therapy in some degree, but you using it at home, um, if you are dealing with anything chronic, uh, you're, you're photosensitive, um, just, just make sure with your caregiver first uh, that, that it's appropriate that you start using this type of device. But for the most part, there really are not contraindications, just like, you know, there's, there's really not a list of contraindications for going outside in the sun. So let, let's break into the differences here first. So starting with red light. Um, red light uh, research shows that red light affects our mitochondria. Um, it, the mitochondria are kind of the powerhouses or the little engine in our cells and it boosts their function. So whatever that function may be, whether it's expediting healing, working on some fine lines, um, maybe you've got some psoriasis or you've got some acne, there's all kinds of different reasons that inflammation presents itself on the skin surface. And red light is better for skin surface or just slightly below uh, the skin surface for treatment. So when you're out in the sun and you can feel the warmth on your skin uh, differently than when you step into the shade, that, that's that red light spectrum. Red light is going to fall in between the 600 and 700 nano range. It's a very small, specific window. There is no optimal nano for this benefit or that benefit. But you will see when you're looking at light therapy devices in the red light realm, uh, the settings are going to fall between the 600 and 700 nano ranges. They are considered a low energy light. Um, there's two types of red light therapies I want to cover before we get into the demo. One is what I consider high intensity. The other is what I called uh, moderate or low intensity. These are completely my own terms. You will not find them anywhere else. But I wanted to use this as an explanation point because there is some confusion when you're selecting devices. The big difference between a high intensity and a low intensity red light tool is the amount of time you spend treating. So the first light therapy tool I'm going to get into is a high intensity tool. Many of you own a torch or a tool that looks similar to this. What I mean by a torch is it's just a little handheld thing. There's a very powerful set of diodes in the front here. And uh, there's different features with each of these. You can see, ooh, I see the light, okay? You can see it shining on the wall behind me. A torch is a high intensity tool because it's designed for short treatment time. So preset, this thing's only going five minutes. Red light is in the visible spectrum. So if there's any risk at all that you're going to be staring at this with your eyeballs or your children might be, I recommend wearing protective eye eyewear anytime um, there's a risk. And, you know, you may not be treating your eye, but we're kind of like bugs, like we're, we're kind of drawn towards looking at the light. So don't be tempted. Don't push yourself. Uh, you know, I would recommend and in the box with most of these tools comes these very sexy blue blockers. So if you do not have your own sunglasses or protective eyewear, there is a set included in the box. Uh, and I recommend wearing it if you are going to be looking at the light or perhaps you're treating someone else or you're using it on your pet where you're going to be looking at the light. You want to protect your eyes. There are lots and lots of studies about red light improving vision. Okay, I don't want any of us pretending that we're ophthalmologists ophthalmologists or optometrists, 
yes, study on light therapy is exploding and there's new stuff coming out all the time. I've even gotten testimonials from clients that haven't worn their sunglasses, even though they're not looking completely at the light and they feel their vision, their chronic vision issues is improving. But I don't want you guys pretending to use this tool uh, for something other than what it's intended for. If you're looking at using light therapy to improve vision, please talk to your care provider. Don't use your home therapy tools. That, that's not what they're intended for. But the torch and the, the short intent, the short session, the high intensity tools are designed to treat chronic areas right now. So if you have like really bad joint pain in a knuckle or you got a kink in your neck that bugs you all the time or you know, you, you need to prepare your body for another treatment or an activity. The torch is, is going to get it done quickly. It's going to, uh, it's going to focus well on a local, oh, hang on. I got too many modes going here. It's going to work very well on a localized area. And when I typically do, you know, let's say I want to just treat this big knuckle, you can feel the warmth almost immediately. Uh, not warm in the point that it's going to burn you or get hot, but you will feel the intensity of the diodes differently than the other red light tools that I'm going to go over. And this is designed to treat small areas. You know, maybe you've got carpal tunnel in the wrist. Uh, we talked in the last session about lympho lymphomas, little fat pockets. Uh, that we're using to beat up with massage guns. You know, you could use this to warm up the tissue in that area before you you go for uh, your massage gun treatment with it or before you, you have other therapies. Um, what I really like about the torch uh, as far as light therapies is it's kind of the most portable thing that you can own. Um, this is great for um, putting in the purse, um, you know, packing in your your uh, carry on if you're traveling uh, to have in the car to just manage symptoms as they present throughout the course of the day. My warning with high intensity tools, and this is uh, there's there's less high intensity tools than than others. Um, the high intensity tools are going to be the torches. Uh, there's a cold sore device, anything that's preset for about a five minute treatment time. You can't really overdo red light that doesn't mean i give you guys a license to use it for 10 hours a day for everything you need but your body kind of only takes what it needs and 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 above and beyond that it's kind of like vitamin c it, it only absorbs what it needs and and uh um but you don't need to spend four to six hours treating yourself what i what i will say for those of you that have been using um red light or starting to use red light for the first time be conservative if it's an intense tool try the two to three minute mark see how you feel, maybe do more frequent treatments, a few of them throughout the course of the day. Don't necessarily start out right at the five minute mark. Um, you can always add time, um, but five minutes max is, is the intense, is the time on this. You can meet, treat multiple body parts with it. If, if you're going to use it for a longer treatment time than five minutes, maybe you wanna do a couple of different areas, just give the, on the high intensity tools, give them a break for about you know two to three minutes before you use it again. They do get warm and we I just wanna prolong the life of your equipment. Um, taking these apart, there is in the kit, it's just like a flashlight. There's a big lithium battery inside, very easy to charge and replace. The cool thing about this is it comes not only with the sunglasses, but there's an extra lithium battery. They're, they're a little bit bigger and fatter than what your double A's might look like. And there is a wall charger, okay? And this all packs in a convenient little case. So I don't necessarily take the whole thing with me, but I have a little purse. So I pack the torch with me and I just make sure my battery's topped up. Um, if, if I'm gonna be using it on other people, maybe I'm taking it to use it on my mom or my sister or something. I make sure I've got the other battery charged. But to be honest with you, um, they've got about a three, four hour treatment time. I've never run out of battery life um, on the one, but if, if you are traveling and you don't have access or just to make it convenient, it's, it's nice to pre-charge your batteries and then you've got that ready to go. 
So that's high intensity. Uh, benefits of red light again, um, mitochondria function is, 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 is made more optimal. It boosts energy. It can expedite healing, circulation, lymphatic movement, um, reduces pain, swelling, um, everything you ever wanted it to do. Like it's, it's almost kind of hard to believe. But the big thing with red light, again, selecting the right tool for the application you intend to use and be realistic in what you're going to use. If, if, again, I just want to stress that. Um, let's move on to other tools. Uh, so that was high intensity. I want to move on to regular intensities. And um, I'm, I've got another one here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you've seen something that looks like this. Kind of goes on like sunglasses. This is a light therapy mask. And right away, I'm going to break the rules because I have no eyes covered. My eyes are not protected. This device is one exception to the rule. The diodes are very different. You can see that they're, they're, they're in these lines built within the mask. You do not need to wear protective eyewear just with this one device. It's a different type of um, tool than the torch we were just speaking about. So this, you can watch TV, you can make dinner. It probably is making my, my voice sound a little bit funny. And this incorporates different light colors. So I've talked briefly about red. This also offers blue light, which I will get into briefly next. This has an amber setting. It also has, uh, and back to the red. So I'm not going to get into too much depth on the amber setting. It's, 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 sort of close to red light, but there is, as I said, there's so much research coming out all the time. Um, Life Pro has been a little bit proactive and in this, this new version of the Visicure mask, they've incorporated the three different lights. So um, this one operates as well. It is just a charge. There's a little USB charge and there's a little button to activate this. This also has a really good battery life. I, I usually get about an hour and a half maybe two hours out of it, um, depending on what I'm, um, how long I'm using it, but you'll get at least a couple of 30 minute sessions out of it before you need to recharge it. And it's only an hour or two charge time. Um, it's got little comfort things on the nose. Uh, I have worn it with my glasses underneath. So for those of you that are somewhat blind, like I am, if it fits over top of my glasses. So I could, you know, like looking at the TV and being able to see it are two different things, right? Um, so that's a good tool. I am better at using this one because I can do other things. I, I'm such a busybody to get me to sit still for 10, 15 minutes to do anything uh, on a regular basis other than my vibe machines can be taxing. I like this. Uh, it's a good end of day treatment when I'm sitting on the couch doing my thing. I've got my makeup off. Um, and it's, it's light and versatile can be packed away in the box that it comes with it and stored. Um, good, good investment there. Well under a hundred bucks. Um, I will drop a link, um, to some light therapy stuff towards the end here, but I have put my personal link in the top of this where you can let, uh, access all my learning groups as well as links to some of the products I'm talking about today. So the face mask is considered, um, a longer treatment time when you're dealing with things like wrinkles and psoriasis and and uh, pimples, um, you know, you're, you're not going to get it done in two to three minutes. Weight loss. There, there's different reasons uh, we're going with a longer treatment time. The face mask will run um, 30 minutes on a preset. I would rec, you know, you certainly could use it daily to get a bit of a kickstart, but certainly a couple, three times a week uh, it would be recommended and consistent. Regular use, of course, is going to be the key with any of these, um, especially if you're looking at expediting healing, you've got lesions, inflammation, those type of things. You want to, you know, you might find the frequency a little more frequent starting out. And once symptoms start to improve, uh, you might get into more of a maintenance piece. With red light therapy, I want to cover one thing for those of you that have been using it for a long time on a regular basis. Um, Sometimes you find it's just not as effective or you're not getting the same benefit that you did when you first started. Your body, just like exercise, 
gets used to things. And, and if, if you've been using the same setting, same tool, same duration, your body kind of adopts to it. And it, as I said earlier with red light, you can't really overdo it. Your body's just going to take what it needs to get the job done. Um, so what you'll actually find with red light, in my experience, if you're a regular user, you, you should take a break like a reset, you know, take a week off, don't use it at all. And when you return to using, you know, less time and less frequency, you're, you're not going to need as much time to get the same effects. Uh, but do a bit of a reset sometime, uh, but same if you're using it on your pets, um, you know, or, or other family members, if you've been doing it regularly, um, you know, sometimes just a, a rest and reset period is all you need to kind of mix things up and, and keep the body progressing in its healing journey. Um, quick slurp of coffee. I want to get into other light therapy tools. Couple here. Uh, one you haven't seen yet. Okay. So I've given you some, these are also following under the regular intensity. The only high intensity tools are the torches driven by short treatment times. Look at some of these other tools. Okay, there, there's really probably a light therapy tool for every single body part out there. Um, selecting the right tool again is, is best to complement with what you're looking at using it for and what you know you're going to do. Um, this is a light panel. You can see there's, there's a number of diodes in this. You got power switch and everything on the back. There's a little stand. This can be used in a number of different ways. There's actually a suspension kit where you can hang it from a ceiling. Um, I like setting mine on a table or on the floor beside me while I'm doing other things. So if you're wanting to treat a bigger area um, and you kind of got your own little thing going on as far as a, 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 an area to do treatments, the panel is a very popular, it's a bit more of an investment, but it's it's a very good all around choice. You can treat large areas, you can target smaller areas. The beauty of something like a panel or a smaller version, um, there's also the InfraGlow lamp. Um, think of these as hands-free tools. So you set it beside you. Um, on uh, the, the coffee table or the, the side table beside your chair. You can set it beside your bed. You do not need to physically hold this thing and treat yourself like some of the tools. So the clue I'm giving you is it depends on how you're going to use it. Um, for those of you that are in love with red light therapy and have maybe started with a smaller tool, many of you have upgraded to a panel once you know that you're using it regularly. Uh, the panel is, is one of the bigger red light tools. Uh, again, it's gonna be great for all over body applications. It incorporates red light and infrared light. Uh, infrared light is non-visible. Uh, I'm gonna get into a little bit more detail after I get through some of the red light stuff. Um, but this is a very good all around. There's lots of different panels out there, but bang for your buck. Uh, it's not terribly heavy, and as I said, it's got a pulley system if you want to attach it to the roof. Um, I find it works best um, set up kind of like the, with the picture frame easel. I like to just set it beside me. Many of you uh, that are part of my uh, fat disorders group are using red light in conjunction with your vibration exercise plates. So this is a really good way that you can combine the two, do your thing without having to hang on to a device or attach it to your body. This is probably my number one recommendation, this and the lamp for hands-free use. So hands-free by, by choice, or maybe you're dealing with a chronic issue, grip strength, you know, maybe more mobility is really poor. You'll find uh, some of the hands-free options are going to be a better all-around uh, type of product. Okay, so that's the panel and the lamp. So many toys here to play with. Um, this, I have covered, this is the Visicure mask. This one, many of you are probably wondering, what the heck is this huge thing? Okay. This is one portion of the new Infradome sauna. So this is the lower portion, but I wanted you to see inside of it. This is an example of a tool that incorporates different types of light therapies. 
This, I don't have it plugged in because I've got it in pieces right now, but this has red diodes and it also has uh, infrared. So for those of you um, wanting different benefits and multiple types of light spectrums, first of all, Debbie, what are the differences between red light and infrared? Well, before I move on to infrared, we're still talking about red light. Um, it, many of you have demanded these type of things. So when you talk to your companies and say, oh, I want a sauna that has red light too, or I want a face mask that offers amber light, or I want a torch that has pulsation. A lot of the um, evolution of products that LifePro in particular brings is, is based on user feedback. You know, if, if we had to wait for science to validate everything, we'd never get any help or relief. So science is, is a good indication and there's a ton of it behind red light therapies, but there's never going to be a study validating every single nanome, every benefit, every body type. Um, it's Research is, is less and less about non-invasive and more about pharmaceutical solutions. So if you're looking for non-invasive therapies, uh, many of you have pushed and demanded that these products include more for your needs. And, and the Infradome is just one example. Back to the light mask for just a very brief second. That is another example. The original model just had red and blue. This one has blue and amber. So I wanna to touch very briefly on blue light. If you were to search blue light in the internet, you're gonna see some really bad stuff come up called blue light hazards. I wanna make it very clear that there's a big difference between light therapy and light hazard. Blue light is a lower spectrum. It is, it is just under, um, just above the UV ranges and kind of the four to 450 range. It's a very small spectrum. Uh, blue light has been shown to, to be good for things like acne, skin surface conditions and reducing inflammation. Blue, think cooling. Um, even 10, 15 years ago with some of my commercial devices, I had, I had face masks, but they were two separate ones, one red and one blue. Uh, one was more anti-aging, you know, um, wrinkles, fine line, rosacea, whereas the blue was was always more and more associated uh, from a research standpoint with, with acne um, for the kids and things like that, and detoxification. There is, since I got into blue lights, you know, 15 years ago, there's these things called cell phones and tablets and computers that we are using with much, much more time in our day than, than we ever have before. And blue light hazard refers to excess screen time. So long-term exposure or too much exposure to red light can have a detrimental effect on our mitochondria. It can make us tired. It can screw up our circadian rhythm, our sleep patterns. So um, what I want you to understand is there is a very big difference between blue light exposure through your phone and your devices and the therapies that you might be using at home. The therapies are gonna be short, specific in their treatment times. Whereas how long can you surf your phone or your, your computer at times? So be mindful if you do spend a lot of time on your devices. Um, blue light, um, as I said, the benefits are, are acne. Uh, blue lights are more synonymous with seasonal and mood disorders. Um, memory, cognitive function. So there's a lot of reasons you want to consider blue light and technologies that, that incorporate them. But understand, you know, you, you do need to mitigate your risks. If you're spending seven, eight hours a day on your cell phone, don't spend so much time on it. Those are the detrimental effects that, that, that the blue light, um, the LED lights that come with through a lot of our technologies can have harmful effects. Uh, using your, your light therapies is, is very much a different thing. If you are addicted to your tech and you spend a lot of time staring at them, give your body time, you know, give it five, 10 minutes, at least every hour to, to give those eyes uh, time to regenerate. Sleep is gonna be the big thing, headaches, migraines, uh, but there is a very big difference uh, between what is referred. Blue light hazard refers to the potential injury or harm to the retina from too much electromagnetic radiation exposures coming from our devices, not our therapies. So I just wanted to touch on that. So just after the red and the blue and the amber, we go further up the light spectrum. The lower in the, the number in this light spectrum, 
the bigger the waves, the more energy they have. As we get higher in the, the spectrum and then the numbers become bigger, the waves get smaller. So we're gonna blow past red light, which ends at about the 700 nanoms. And from about, it's a bigger range from about seven to 1100 nanoms is our infrared spectrums. Infrared is that warm, huggy feeling. You know, this time of year when you get into your car and it's still kind of cold and crisp outside, but you feel the warmth, that radiant heat coming through the, the window, the, the windshield. Uh, same in the house, it's that warm feeling uh, that you get the heat in the shade that you feel. Infrared is that warm hug heat, um, but it is not vis visible to the spectrum of our, uh, the spectrum is not visible, visible to our eyes. So when you turn on your infrared saunas and you don't see a bunch of red lights glowing, that is why. Red light is different than infrared. It is visible. Uh, remember, wear protective eyewear if, you, if there's potential that you're going to expose your eyes to it. Infrared eyewear is not required. Uh, perhaps you've got red light incorporated, uh, so be careful in, in that mode. But infrared, you do not need to wear blue blockers uh, or protective eyewear. It is a non-visual light. Infrared is also a longer treatment time. Uh, red light is going to, um, infrared is going to be more associated with you know, a deep aches and pains and penetrating below the skin surface. It's great for muscle recovery, warming up and, and heating muscle tissue, maybe as a warm up um, or as a pre-treatment for something else that you're getting done. Um, infrared is also great for expediting uh, healing, recovery of muscles. Um, one of its most popular functions is D detoxification. It's known for ramping up the sweat factor, if you will. Um, and, and through that process, you know, we, we tend to think of, of sweat as two things when you get into a sauna. I'm either looking at it for weight loss and it's a good thing because I'm sweating um, or detoxification. Sweating is, is, a, is one way, of course, that our body detoxifies. So um, if you are using an infrared sauna or you ever have in the past, uh, you will know that it is a dry, very tolerable heat, very different than um, steam saunas. Um, you tend to be able to tolerate the higher heats in, in infrared situations simply because it's a dry heat. There's different types of infrared tools. Uh, infrared saunas, the traditional box with a door. LifePro does have one of those. I've owned several of them in my lifetime. Um, infrared saunas have different components, uh, different types of heaters. It is a different physical experience than some of the other tools that you may be using infrared for. But again, infrared, as opposed to your visual lights, the biggest difference is, is it's penetrating at and below the skin surface level, whereas your visual lights tend to be at and just below the skin surface, infrared's gonna go much deeper. So it's gonna do a better job of that deep muscle and joint pain, uh, chronic inflammations, issues, um, relaxation. It's gonna help you uh, just melt away your day. Um, sauna, infrared heat is associated with, with heat for saunas and that's kind of the stigma. But there are lots of different tools, as I've said. Even the red light panel incorporates uh, the heat of infrared. Um, back to my sauna. This offers uh, when you when you're running the dome sauna, you can do infrared, you can do red light, or you can do a combination of the two. Uh, this model also has a mat, so you're getting kind of the 360. It's got a tourmaline mat. Uh, that is also EMF. I'm not even going there with EMFs today, um, but it's it's got red light, infrared. Really, you can customize uh, with the settings and whatever your level of comfort is. I've got mine set up on a camp cot frame, um, but what I like about the dome style, I don't have a ton of space in my home. Um, I used to have several of the, the traditional box saunas with doors but the, uh, the lay down sauna, I can set it up on my bed. Um, I can set it up on the floor and it tucks away nice and easy in my closet for storage. Uh, it comes with two pieces, the, the tourlini mat and the controller. Uh, but this is a really good example of uh, a higher end technology that incorporates both infrared and red light. So you can just further customize not only your experience, uh, but the benefits that you are achieving uh, in, in getting it. 
The other style that has been very, very, very popular are the sauna blankets. Okay. So this is an example of a sauna blanket. I've got it still folded up. Just wanted to show you. This is the regular size, depending on your height. Okay. Um, this is a sauna bag. This just offers infrared heat. It does not incorporate the red lights. So for those of you that have purchased this and you look inside and you don't see the red light, this isn't a red light therapy. This is infrared. Um, this particular model has, you know, armholes you, so you can stick your arms out and do other things. Um, it zips up very much like a sleeping bag. Okay. I like to line mine with towels. Uh, I get a pretty good sweat going on. If you are looking at accelerating it for weight loss, Life Pro includes a couple of uh, these silvery looking wraps. Uh, they're just going to, they, they would mimic what a sauna suit or wearing lots of different clothing. If you really are looking at accelerating uh, weight loss effects and, and, and detoxification, those are a great way to ramp up the uh, sweat factor. If you're using those, but you're looking for the benefits of red light, this will block red light therapies. Uh, so just more as a weight loss tool. If you're looking at getting skin surface treated or, or other things, uh, do not use the wraps. They're, they're just a nice to try. You know, some love them, some don't love them, uh, but they are included so that you can experiment and see what, what's best for your level of comfort. You can use those as well in this. Uh, I get a pretty good sweat on without adding uh, the wraps. Uh, I line mine with a towel and this plugs into any standard wall outlet. There's a simple controller attached. And again, there are two sizes. You'll see there's a neck hole cut out here. Um, this one folds up into absolutely nothing when you're done with it. What I really, really love about the sauna blanket um, over the dome and the bigger sauna, quite honestly, if, if money were no object for any of you, most of you probably wouldn't be here with me today. So what I, what I love about the infrared blankets is they allow you to access this kind of a treatment without having to build another room or take out a second mortgage to pay for it. Um, you know, technologies are not always inexpensive. Um, a lot of the self-care tools I talk about are not medical devices. Uh, doesn't mean that they're any less effective. In, in some cases, they are just and if not more effective, but medical devices tend to carry a heavier price tag. Uh, the companies have, have invested substantially uh, to make them a medical device uh, and to get those certifications. And usually that, that cost is passed on to you. I have seen infrared saunas in excess of six, $7,000. And that does not mean that they're of any better quality uh, than, than some of the inexpensive ones being sold on Amazon. So do your homework if you're looking at some of these bigger ticket items. Um, if you've dreamed of getting into infrared technology and simply haven't had the space or the pocketbook, um, I think you'll be very impressed with the sauna blankets. Um, they're also portable. So if you do travel lots, um, you know, you're going in for a surgery situation, you're, you're going to be away for some time. They pack up to literally nothing and, and they're light enough that you could pack them in your suitcase or a carry on. Um, if you love your infrared sauna, uh, you know, the, I, the boot, the lay down is probably my favorite. I like having my head out. Um, I can tolerate a, a much higher temperature when I'm not breathing the hot air. Some of you love that. Uh, you like the box. It's, it's very much a personal choice. There isn't one that's necessarily more effective than the other. Again, it boils down to budget, space, and, and what type of device you're wanting to invest in. Um, but many of you that, that use this regularly but aren't at home regularly, uh, I've seen a lot of clients get the, the blanket as the in-between when they can't use their regular saunas or, you know, as a way to get mom or dad or other family members to try without making the investment in that larger price tag. So um, it, it really just makes it so much more accessible um, than what, you know, 10, 15 years, they didn't have any of these things 10, 15 years ago. Um, this, the, the one I'm referring to is the Bio Remedy. Um, there's, there's two different sauna blankets. There's one that's a little bit more robust in its construction uh, and durability. Uh, there's a couple of different sizes in these. And then we step up to the dome and the box sauna. So infrared, 
Um, as I said, it, it's in the 700 to 1100 nanos, so it's on the higher end of the spectrum. They are non-visible light ranges. Um, there is a difference between near and far infrared. That's a question I get very, very commonly. Uh, near infrared um, is good for like skin surface conditions, very similar to red light. It's it's so close, like, like the, the spectrums almost overlap. Um, far infrared, which are the devices I've talked about today, um, are more effective at boosting circulation, lymph, wrapping up detoxification, as I mentioned, weight loss, recovery, um, relaxation. Um, and as I said, there are different types of tools depending on your lifestyle and budget. Light therapies in general, again, there's two types. There's the ones we can see, the reds, the blues, the, the ambers, and there's the ones we can't see, which is the infrared. None of them have the harmful UV light spectrums. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, but if you are dealing uh, with a current medical condition, you are taking meds or are just more prone to being photosensitive, please first discuss with your care to do uh, giver or your doctor uh, whether this is a suitable product for you. I don't know what other treatments or medications you're on and you just want to make sure there's no synergistic effects. But for the most part, infrared, red light, you know, there, there's really no parameters on use. If you are using uh, your infrared sauna for weight loss, you probably shouldn't be going four or five hours a day. You are going to drain yourself, but uh, certainly I have clients that are using it daily. What I will recommend with um, your uh, infrared technologies, especially, um, try using them later in the day, whatever that means uh, for your nine to five. Um, because of the detox effects, you tend to be kind of drained and lethargic after your first few sessions. So the last thing you want to do is, you know, a half hour sauna in the morning and be all lazy and, and loose throughout the course of your work day. So, uh, you know, try and do it on the evening or the weekend. If, if you're trying it out for the first time, we have a tendency to, to melt into a half hour session pretty easy because you get so relaxed. Um, but I don't want to drain you if you've got a big day ahead of you and perhaps you deal with fatigue and other things already. So light therapies are great. Like I say, circulation, lymph, boosting energy, managing pain, mental clarity. Um, a lot of the benefits I talk about with vibration plates, but this is just another way to do it. Uh, there are no exercise benefits. You know, you can certainly improve on the weight loss uh, through detoxification and the sweat factor. Um, obviously, exercise benefits are more associated with vibration plates, which we're going to talk about in our last session. Uh, I am getting to questions here shortly. Make sure that if you're joining me and you're here to enter the giveaway, that you put your name in the comments uh, so I can uh, enter your name for the draw in the later session today. Um, but again, light therapies, there's lots of different ways. Many of you are using them now to benefit. Um, but again, I want you to keep in mind with any of these technologies, what am I going to be using it for? What am I trading? And, and, and be honest with yourself. What are you realistically going to use? If it's something that doesn't appeal to you and it, it, you know, it's just a hassle for you, look at something that, that appeals to you in your lifestyle. Um, consistent, regular use is, is the key uh, to long-term benefit with any of these. So selecting the right tool uh, for the type of use you have uh, planned is, is critical. And sometimes that does mean multiple tools. Um, as you improve, you, you might want to try different things. You know, maybe you've improved to the point where, you know, you, your grip strength is, is to the point where you can hold a bigger massage gun, or, you know, maybe you started with a sauna blanket and everybody in the house is using it and you're fighting for your term. You know, there, there, you, sometimes trying a technology and where you progress within that technology dictates future tools, but sometimes it's your mobility and the health concerns that, that force you to select certain tools based on ergonomics or your ability to use them. So there's, I wish there was a black and white answer that I could give you for everything, but experimentation is key. And again, with the light therapies, um, most companies have a trial period. So if it's something you've been thinking about 
but you're hesitant because you want to try it first. We don't live in, in a world of active trade shows and, and businesses that have these products anymore. And there's just so many new ones coming out all the time. Um, what I would recommend with any of the products, if you've been considering, remember you have that return period. So if you want to purchase something, give it an honest chance. Don't leave it in the box until the 29th day and just return it because you assume it's not going to work or it's just going to be another letdown. Don't let yourself down. If you invest in one of these technologies, get using it right away. Give it an honest chance. And if it's not for you, generally speaking, within 30 days, you can return the item. So um, don't allow yourself, I'm too busy or I haven't had a chance to try it. You took the time, you spent the money, give it an honest chance. And, and, and if it's just not for you or there's, there's something you wish you had selected instead, you've got an opportunity to do that. So that's the, the best advice that I can give you. I'm going to uh, flip and just remind everybody again, if you want to be entered for the draw, please make sure that you've made a comment uh, with a name that I can understand. And I will throw those, add those to uh, the names that I uh, gathered in this morning's session. Um, I want to just see what we've got wrapped in my, Cerulea is wrapped in her blank, oh, her infrared uh, as we watch. Um, does the Visicure, hang on, use all three light colors at the same time or do you choose? You choose. So there's there's red, there's amber, and there's blue, uh, different benefits. Uh, you could use different lights. Um, you know, maybe you want to do, you know, 30 minutes uh, with the red for one reason and you want to do 30 uh, on the blue for another reason. I would just give it a bit of time between and just make sure you got a good battery charge on that. Um, I would limit your use of blue light uh, from a therapeutic standpoint based on some of the hazards I mentioned before. You know, I would love to think that none of you are ever using cell phones and tablets. Uh, so you would have a little bit more luxury with your therapies, but I know that many of you are. So if you're using the, the blue light, keep that to about 30 minutes per body part per day. Uh, the reason I say per body part is some of the torches also incorporate blue light therapy. Uh, but on the face mask, a 30 minute treatment time, you know, a couple times a day is not unheard of. Um, but, you know, your body's only going to take as much as it needs to fulfill the treatment. Um, the other tool that I didn't cover today um, that many of you are using is the Aleva Red belt. Um, I have uh, my belt on loan with a customer that's recovering from some pretty nasty issues. But it's kind of an in-between, you know, it, it, it's a wearable, so it's a hands-free it's really great for targeting the waist, the low back, the shoulders. It's not as large as um, the panel. You know, this isn't something you'd wrap on your body. I, I would call the uh, the belt more of a wearable, uh, but it's a really good universal tool, not just for the red light uh, healing aspects, but it's also got infrared. So it's kind of an in-between crossover, if that's a term. You know, you're getting the health benefits, but it's also a, a good weight loss um, as well as spot treatment tools. So uh, again, something to compare depending on what you're looking to treat. Where can I order the hands-free panel? Um, the hands-free panel, these are all, if you go into my Life Pro link uh, through my the, the link that I started in the beginning, um, I think I actually have a link here for light therapies. Yes, I do. Um, light therapies on Life Pro site are broken into two categories. So there's uh, red light therapies, which is your visual light spectrums, and then there's infrared therapies. So it really depends on uh, what you are looking at using. They're broken into two different collections. So all the red light masks, the belts, the, the torches are under uh, red light or light therapies, and the infrared saunas, the blankets, the sauna booth are you gonna see, you're gonna see under sauna treatments. Um, Carol is looking at extending other options to try. I also have lipedema and use a vibration plate daily. Um, yes, you know, there's there, part of the reason I'm doing these sessions today is there's been so many crossover questions. You know, can I use this with that? Or should I use this with that? That I wanted to kind of cover all bases. The general theme is experiment. Um, typically, it's rarely a no, don't do this with me. But I do want you to keep in mind again, 
What are you using it for? Do you want something that's hands-free? Are you okay applying it with your hands? Are you looking for a short treatment time, a long treatment time? Sometimes that's associated with benefits. There is never one tool perfect for every situation, but you, you may find where you start and where you progress uh, with complementary tools is very much based on how you improve and consistency regular use of whatever you're starting with is going to get you there fastest. Um, I love that glove and also use it on my feet when my foot gets cramped. You know what I haven't brought up to the camera yet is the glove. So the Oliva glove is a near infrared light therapy glove. Um, I, I talked about a compression hand tool in the first segment, but this would be a great example of a body specific tool. Um, it's made out of neoprene. Uh, the, it's, a, it's got a rechargeable battery pack in it, as does, this is probably my newest and my, I haven't even opened it yet. I just got this one. As many of you know, I have a problem knee, so I'm really looking forward to uh, this. I know that, that when we injure ourselves, we're supposed to spend time recovering, but sometimes life just gets in the way. So I'm really looking forward to uh, I've been using the Oliva wrap belt and wrapping it around my knee. This is going to be uh, a little bit more ideal for using on the knee. I imagine you could use this on the elbow, could probably get creative and use it on the ankle. Um, this is a light therapy knee brace. So for those of you that are specifically dealing with knee issues, you know, trying to bridge the gap to the vibration plate, or you're looking for something to use as a warm up or recovery, um, I think this is going to be a very, very popular uh, device. This just launched yesterday with Life Pro, so this is brand new. Uh, I'll be spending some time playing with this, but uh, this is a red light, and I believe it also has da, 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 red light and infrared light. Uh, for muscle joint recovery and pain relief. So this is, this incorporates both red and infrared. And the glove is just infrared. I just want to, um, the Oliva Glove Therapy, um, pension, yeah. This is going to be awesome, uh, again, for arthritic hands, inflammation. You know, you get carpal tunnel, you're recovering from surgery, you're getting ready for surgery. Uh, these two tools are body area specific. But many of you, I, I'm, I'm just proud that you get so creative in how you use your tools. Again, you're only limited by your imagination and your range of motion. Um, I dropped a link to the light therapy collections. You can have a closer look there uh, when time allows for you. Um, what else do we have? Any other benefits from either light for lipedema? Um, a lot of times, you know, we get associated. Stop giving your conditions an identity. Um, you know, I have lipedema, I have anxiety, you know, the symptoms I could line up, I've got like 9,000 people in my group and I'm betting, you know, 7,000 of them have lipedema. That was kind of the reason the group started, but you're all very different in your stages and your symptoms and in how things present on your body. Uh, but the big, big benefit with light therapy specifically for lipedema and lymphedema, any of those fat disorders, is it's a real passive way to get lymph moving, circulation moving, and manage pain if that's uh, an issue for you. Uh, other effects are things like boosts in energy, mental clarity. So depending on how your condition is affecting you, um, I would say the number one reason to use light therapies for lipedema is for that lymph piece. And for those of you that have heat sensitivities, because I haven't talked about this, Incredibly, many tolerate the infrared or the red light heats different than what you, you might associate. Sometimes when you're dealing with conditions, heat is not your friend. Um, but I've had pretty good success um, with a number of my uh, ladies using the blanket, the infrared saunas, and some of the red light tools. The heat is, is different and it doesn't seem to affect them uh, in a bad way, like regular heat in a room or heat lamps and things like that might. Um, I had a, a, a question specific from my gal Kelly. Uh, some of you wrote in questions because I wasn't able to necessarily, you weren't able to necessarily join me on the live. And one of them was, I have lipolymphedema and have been told not to use heat. You know, what you have been advised by your caregiver, 
um, you may need to adhere to. Perhaps it's just a precautionary thing, uh, but infrared and red light heat is very different than, you know, using a heat bag, let's say, or, or a heated blanket or a heat pad. It's a different kind of thing. Uh, so I think that is partly the reason that we're tolerating it. Um, but again, you know, I've, I've got some individuals with very extreme heat issues and they're tolerating the sauna blankets without any issues. And keep in mind with, with the infrareds, you can adjust the temperature settings. So you may want to start out with a lower setting until your body kind of adapts and gets used to it. And, and you, you, you'll find over time, your tolerance for heat uh, will improve in that particular technology. I can't speak to heated devices universally, but speaking to infrared saunas and red lights specifically, they tend to be fairly well tolerated. So uh, when I am told no by a doctor or do not know by a doctor, um, ask more questions. Is there a reason? You know, I, I, I may not, you know, maybe it's something specific to you personally more than the lipedema, but when you get told, no, you shouldn't do this, Sometimes it's because they just don't understand and responsibly that's the answer they need to be giving you. But sometimes there's a reason. So, that, you know, go back to your care, care provider and, and maybe understand a little further as to why. And maybe if they understand what you're considering, you know, they might say, oh, well, like infrared's different or red light. I, you know, that's not what I was talking about. Seek clarity before you assume it's 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 a big no. Uh, I The only time that I have ever heard from a doctor, absolutely not, you can't use infrared or red light is 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 where they don't know what's going on and they want to explore further uh the last thing you want to do is boost in circulation and and get things moving when they're trying to make markers and measures uh, uh about you so you know they, they don't want you adding any new intervention until they can assess maybe the best approach um but typically, um, you know, if you are dealing with something intricate, if you're dealing with medications that make you more photosensitive, more susceptible to light therapies, please, please, please just have a discussion with your doc, your therapist, uh, before embarking on a big routine. Um, okay, so that was Kelly's question. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to move on and see if any of you, so that was uh, from Donna, any benefits from either light therapy for lipedema? There's lots. Um, FYI, I love that glove and also use it on my feet when my foot cramps. Great idea. I don't see what, you know, again, get creative with how you're using it. Um, I did drop a link to the light therapies um, on Life Pro. Again, there's two set. you know, if you just get into their main page or if you search them on Amazon, uh, sometimes the names are different on Amazon than they are on their site. That's completely a Google thing, uh, not a Life Pro thing. But um, for any of the devices that I've been mentioning today, um, you can get them in the U.S. That's where Life Pro is based. Some of the products are available in uh, Canada through Amazon and the U.K. Uh, in my link that I dropped at the very beginning of the session, you can find uh links to all my my products that I recommend, as well as all the learning groups, my YouTube, all that kind of stuff if you're looking for more information. Um, the knee wrap is on the site. Um, whether you can find it or not, it was just launched. And what happens really commonly with smart, like I can't believe this this is just coming out now. This is this is so something I've been looking for for I hate my knee brace it rubs my leg and it, it makes the other leg all raw with the velcro so I'm looking forward to using this just as a knee brace forget the red light options it has but it's really common when these first come in that they they sell out like really really fast um it will be back in stock very quickly if that is the case so if you're not seeing it on the site it might just but not be completely in stock yet when it they'll go into search and type knee brace and, and you may find it that way. Maybe it's just not showing up in the products yet. Again, if you're shopping with Life Pro Direct through the site in USA or Canada, use my code LYMPH, L-Y-M-P-H. I think I spelled that right. And that will get you 10% off. If there's some big clearance or sale price on it, uh, sometimes you can't combine the 10% for an additional. But certainly for, for the majority of the items, you should get 10% off uh, on that. Uh, and again, many of them are available on Amazon in Canada and the States and the U.S. Uh, just take a look. Depends on where you want to buy. Um, again, I usually I try to support them directly, uh, especially if you have an issue after the fact. It's always nicer dealing with the company directly than having to go through Amazon uh, if, you know, if you have an issue at all. 
Um, Nana, if uh, you may have answered this already, but is the panel only good for bare skin or will it penetrate through clothes? Um, you will feel the infrared through clothing, the heat of the infrared, but clothing kind of blocks the, the, the visual lights, the, you know, depending on the clothing, um, this is light. And, you know, if you can see the light casting through it, you're probably getting some benefit, but ideally you, you know, if, if you're dealing with specifically, if it's a skin issue that you're trying to heal, you, you, I would recommend trying to get some time at least directly on the skin for that one. If you're watching this on a recorded basis after the fact, and you have a question you couldn't ask during the live, Tag me at Debbie with a Y and I will get back to those questions in a comment after I get the recordings put up. Thank you so much for everyone for joining me. Um, visual lights, non-visual lights, intense, high intense, short and long treatment times, couple things to keep in mind. And again, like all of the sessions today, I want you to keep at the top of your mind, what am I going to be using this for? Am I actually going to use the darn thing? Some of these things, just because I think it's the best for treating a certain thing, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to incorporate best into your needs and your lifestyle. So keep that in mind. There's lots of choice out there, but there's never going to be one thing perfect for everything. I wish life was that easy. Uh, and I wish we were all exactly the same. Um, it would be very boring, but we wouldn't need info sessions explaining these things. So uh, thank you again for joining me and your patience. I'm going to exit now and get set up for the next one. I will see you guys in just under uh, 30 minutes.